Hey everyone, I'm back with a quick update on our basement indoor gardening project that we got going on here. Um, it's been about a week. Um, we're about a, a day short of it being a week. And they seem to be doing great. Um, no signs of, of lack of light. Matter of fact, if anything, um, this one here seems to be thriving. It seems to be doing really well. Really well. Um, same thing with the smaller one over here. Um, I trimmed a quite a bit off of this about two days ago just because the stuff was looking a little wilty. Um, like, you know, these ones that lay down. This has a tendency to grow up and then just lay the, light, the, the leaves down like this. And some of the leaves down there seem to be a little wilty, so I was <clears throat> cutting them off to let the plant focus more on the, on the new growth. And it looks just as big as it's ever been. So, um, the onions, that's really hard to say because um, I've cut off, cut off a bunch of them. Um, but they're growing, they continue to grow. I'm able to cut on them and they're growing back, so that's good. This one I'm not so sure. Um, this one was never as full as this one. So, I'm going to have to to look at a before and after picture. I have a picture of these when I, when I put them down in the basement. Um, we'll show you in just a quick second before and after. I do know that I did a little more research on on the lights. The bulbs are each bulb is 2,500 lumens. So, you know, put that put the four of them together. That's a uh, 10,000 lumens. So, I, I would think that that's pretty good for for this little bit of an area. We're talking about probably about two by four. Yeah, maybe two feet here by four feet here crossed. Um, that's probably exactly what it is because these are four foot tubes. So, um, seems to be doing well. You know, I'll keep you guys posted on how this goes. Um, I went to Home Depot a couple days ago and they've got these long trough type pots. They're probably, I don't know, about three feet long, maybe about eight inches wide, about 10 inches deep or so and they're like five six bucks so I plan on getting a, a few of those and possibly a couple more of these lights and some more bulbs and setting up over here so and trying to grow some stuff either from from seed or I'm not sure or I do know that I want to plant some more green onions because I use these a lot when I cook and for the amount of time that it takes for them to grow back after I cut some off, you know, it's, it takes like about three days or so. So I'll probably plant a bunch more of these because I use them all the time. And then in another trough, maybe try to plant something a little bit more demanding. Um, I want to look into seeing about growing jalapenos indoors, bell peppers, stuff like that. Um, definitely want to try to try to grow some cilantro because I use that as well. Cilantro is really not that expensive on the west coast. Um, go to any of the Hispanic stores and get like three bundles of them for like a dollar. So there's no point in growing that stuff out there but out here it's a lot more expensive because um, it's, it's not in there's not very many stores that have it, number one, and the stores that do, it doesn't seem to be a big seller. A lot of, lot of 
white people out here. I'm not white. <laughs> I'm Hispanic, so there's, there's a lot of Puerto Ricans out here, but Mexicans seem to be the, the higher demand for cilantro. So anyway, <laughs> um, I'd like to try to grow it because when I do buy it out here with it being a higher cost, it ends up going to waste a lot of it. You know, you put it in the refrigerator and you might get like, you might be able to use it for like one or two meals. And then, you know, it kind of sits in there and then it starts, you know, deteriorating inside the refrigerator. So, you end up tossing away the vast majority of it. So, I'd like to grow it so that I don't have that issue and I could just trim on it when I need to. And, you know, I don't have to worry about it going bad. So anyway, that's the progress. Thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, comment, like, uh, and check out our Facebook page. Go like our Facebook page. Um, the link will be down in the description. Um, we do have a website, um, but that's not that's not that's not up and running yet. Um, you may watch this video later on down the road, so I'll put that link down in the description as well. It may be up and running by the time you see this video. So. <clears throat> Share the, share the Facebook page if you guys don't mind, and I'll talk to you guys later.